OTF Lil Dirk tricked out of his position, man. They got his co-conspirator, aka OTF Jam. The man wore a wiretap, man. The man went Donnie Brasco. They said he wore a wire for several years. They exaggerated that a little bit, but he did 12 years, was home a good year. So that whole year he was home, he was wearing the wire. Now Dirk gave him 50,000. Like Dirk said in the song, Jam, get out that jam. I gave him 50 and got to ask again. Now y'all y'all probably been hearing about Jam's name since then there, signed to the streets the beginning. Your man, your Jam, get him out the jam. Like... This was one of his most trusted associates, most trusted friends. Dark looked out from through his whole bed. You know, Jam did a whole interview um, talking about how Dark looked out from how Jam talking about he ain't telling nobody, he ain't do none of that. He made sure he emphasized that on his interview. Felt like he must have had like a guilty conscience or something. But he like, I ain't telling nobody. Yup, I did my time. Booty whoop. Dirk gave me more than 50. But, and it's like, dang. OTF DD locked up for this. After OTF DD just beat a case. Just beat a murder to be exact. Fisky D! Free that man! Yeah! 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 <laughs> beat that body! Beat that body! Oh, folks, still look at the two beat the bodies. <laughs> that was just last year. That wasn't even a whole year ago. Uh, OTF DD beat a murder in Chicago and then get picked up for this. Now, going through all the evidence and me being somebody who went to the penitentiary as a teenager, it's like, it's like this kind of, this is a mixture of the Fulio case in a FEG duck case. Why well, I say it's a mixture of the Fulio case cause they use OTF credit cards to get a hotel room, flights, ski masks, like world's dumbest criminals. I'm gonna be 100 with you, bro. I'm not saying dirt, but like the people using this card, allegedly. Um, yeah, they flew in from Chicago to San Diego. Well, how long is the drive from San Diego to, um, uh, LA? Like an hour and a half? 45 minutes? Um, they drove from San Diego to LA. They thought they were slick by not flying in the LAX. I give them I give him a a C for that for not flying in the LAX. They get a C for that. You know what I'm saying? I give them a couple points for that. Even though at the end it really ain't matter, cause all they gotta do is flying. You gotta um, keep track of the names. You know, you you in the system. Ain't no flying. And a fake name. Like, that's not happening. So, they flew. Five people flew in from Chicago to San Diego. They drove about an hour to L.A. And met with Vinny. This all allegedly stuff that was just read in the papers. They flew in, met Vinny, came up with a plan the night before. Little pop was hit. Long story short, next day they f they run into Quando, follow the um the jeep, the truck, the black truck, into a park gas station. Little pop gets out. Little pop gets out. 
Quando and I think Quando's sister stayed in the trunk. I read all the court documents. I'm just off the top right now because I'm I don't got the papers. I'm not looking at the papers right now, but I read it all, so I'm just summarizing what the feds are alleging. Now Dirk was mad because he did not want them to use nothing attached to his name, no card, no nothing. Now that could that could play both ways in trial. That could make that could seem like look, he ain't want them to do it. He was mad. Like, why would y'all use my name and uh to get stuff using my card, right? Or they could look at it like, all right, he know he knew they used his card. He knew what was going on. They was letting him know he was using a card and for what? Like, so it's a 50-50, depending on how they the feds word it, how the prosecutors word it. You feel me? But yeah, they, they used his cards or OTF business cards, whatever you want to call it. They got him labeled as co-conspirator number one. Um, they got OTF DD as one of the main co-conspirators. OTF Jam. And it's crazy because like, Jam really just disappeared again out of nowhere like last year. I seen an interview he did where he was talking about how Dirk looked out for him his whole bed. And then like he got locked up and I just never heard nothing else about him. And it's crazy though. Like they say Dirk was trying to flee to Switzerland or Italy. He had two different flights booked trying to throw the feds off. He got picked up in Miami, up headed to the airport to flee. They wanted to pick him up at the um, birthday bash that he just did in, in Chicago, like four or five days ago, where condolences to a young kid who lost his life. They, he got robbed at the um, Walk Into a Little Dirt concert. And was killed and two other people were shot as a group. There were some white boys from the suburbs. You know, condolences to them. So, you got all that going on. Dirk is currently in Broward County waiting to be extradited to California. Now, the, now you got to flip side of that because NBA young boy he beat the California feds well the feds aren't like state but they're the station that California feds is at NBA young boy had that gun case in California and LA and beat that fed building so that could be a gift and a curse Remember, NBA young boy beat the same exact prosecutor where everybody be talking about, oh, the feds, uh, the feds have a 98% conviction rate. Uh, yeah, that's because people plead guilty. Ain't no really no pleading guilty for murder for hire, bro. It's like, what you want to plead guilty to and get life? You might as well go it away. It's like a, like, why not? Even though you don't want to be in that predicament, but it's like, why plead guilty to life when you're going to... Why would you plead guilty to life when you could take it to trial, roll the dice, get found not guilty, or get found guilty and get the same sentence you would get if you pleaded? So it's like, he's going to trial. That's no question. That's... The, Ain't no pleading on the table for for Dirk. You know what I'm saying? That's like crazy. You would never expect. You know, after you get a certain amount of money and like tens of millions, you people would probably be feeling invincible or like the law. They got the lawyers to fight it, so they don't care about the law. It's like. 
we're going to see what happens, man. But like I said, young boy already beat this California um, court, this prosecutor and all that. So if it was in Chicago or like Illinois, like I would be really worried, like super worried. But it's like I already seen somebody beat them. So it's like we'll see how it play out, man. But it's crazy. Y'all leave a comment. Let me know how y'all feel about all this, man.